Welcome back to Insight. Life's better here in Columbia City, and I love learning about uh, all these uh, hometowns that we get to uh, travel out to, and uh, we want to talk to Mark about uh, specifically the Parks Department here in Columbia City. How many parks are there? We have eight. We have eight parks that we maintain. I know my guys are actually here now. They take care of all those parks all year long uh -huh. and do a lot of great work for our community. So I appreciate the work they do. You say all year long because to, mm -hmm. to a layman like me, I'm thinking, all right, maybe spring to fall, but wintertime uh, too? You have to you move snow. I mean, you do a lot of things in the wintertime for people. So yeah, there's, there's a lot to do. That's true. Getting bathrooms all the time. I guess people want to get out, you know, <laughs> still and, and jog or whatever, be on a trail and, yeah. and move around still in really the winter. Do. We have very active parks. Um, with the eight parks, you know, we have over five miles of, of greenway space to, mm -hmm. to run and walk on. We have over 11 miles of mountain bike trails in our woods, so those get used a lot all year round. It feels like, uh, to those of us, uh, I guess, outside the community, uh, we maybe get, uh, what's the park that I'm thinking of right at, you know, that you see right there Morse's on park. 30, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the one people see the most. Right. That's our largest park, easily. I mean, there's a lot of activities there. Um, we, we run our baseball and softball leagues. We have 550 kids played in that in the summertime. Um, there's a lot of tournaments there every mm -hmm. weekend, um, so there's a, there's a lot of activity. A lot of activity. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the mayor talked earlier about uh, the aquatic center that's coming. Does that fall under your umbrella? It does. Yeah. Um, that's obviously really something we're very excited about. Um, it's been in the works for probably six years. Um, we started raising money a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, raised 4.25 million. Um, so a lot of support from different organizations and the community uh, people donating toward that. So we're really excited about that. Um, that will be a great addition for our community. So where's that going to go in? It will go, we currently have a pool that's about 60 years old. Okay. Um, and so we've had a lot of maintenance problems and we had to shut that down. It'll go at that same location, which is right across from our high school parking lot. So uh, the facility itself will be open when? When's the hope? Our, the projection is to start, start construction this September uh -huh. and then hopefully have it open in the middle of May next year in 2018. Okay, and then describe what it's going to offer. Is it outdoor? It's an outdoor facility. Yep. It will have a, a large a lap, a lap lane pool for a swim team uh, for open swimming. It will also have a large uh, shallow area, zero level entry, mm -hmm. the splash pad there. It will have a large play structure in the middle of that. We have two slides that uh, will, people will love. They're about 15 feet high. Um, so. Yeah, they'll also have a skating rink as part of this whole process as well. Well, see there, now you are yeah. busy year-round. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, have you ever managed a skating rink before? No. Are you studying no, no, up no. on this? I've been studying up yeah. on it, but that doesn't mean I know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, um, we, we've gone back and forth, do we get a real ice skating rink or do we get a synthetic ice skating rink? And we are going with the synthetic ice. So, it's not real ice, but it kind of acts similar to that. Uh -huh. um, it'll be a little easier to maintain, a little less expensive to maintain. So, uh, yeah. I want to know when that opens. I want to see that. Okay. Well, like, I, what is that synthetic ice? Like, I'm thinking like it, it's kind of like a, a plastic, plastic basically. Okay. And it acts like ice. Um, wow. But it's easier to maintain. It's obviously a lot less expensive. You don't have the refrigeration unit. Uh huh. Um, so yeah. So uh, can you plan anywhere like five years, ten years out? What uh, you'd love to do? What what might be next for parks in Columbia City? Well, we're obviously growing. Yeah. Um, we we could potentially add 70 acres of new parkland here in the next few years. Um, that kind of ties in with the new high school going in. Um, so we have that 70 acres to develop and kind of find out what our community wants. Um, we'll be doing some surveys and studies with the community to find out what they like to see in our parks because we'll right. have the space to add it. And if people want to give you some feedback, best way to get a hold of you guys? Uh, they can email me, mgreen at columbiacity.net, or they can call our office, 248-5180. All right. Okay. There we go. The parks continuing to improve the uh, quality of life and make life better in Columbia City. We'll be right back on Insight.